So, friends once again uh, welcoming you uh, to this forum uh, of uh, understanding the unit level data, last color unit level data with data. Uh, we are now uh, after understanding so many commands over last two weeks, uh, we wanted to en en enable you with uh, the review of such, such commands. Okay? I am deliberately keeping a small session on uh, review of commands in order to make you used of all the commands so far explained. Otherwise, what really happens in my experience that you know some of the commands we usually forget. Okay? So, in order to keep you in touch with all the important commands, we have uh, you know kept a session on reviewing it. Okay? Let us uh, go together. Why we are doing it? Because we are heading for uh, analyzing unit level data okay? and, uh, uh, and we need to recall all the commands so far we, we have used. Okay, and the commands are very useful in understanding the data for analysis and interpretation. And uh, you know, uh, this gives a better uh, background and structure of our data and also helps in understanding our variables correctly and converting it as per our requirement. Now, let us uh, understand how to explore the data in data, which are the command. Okay? So, uh, uh, the, 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 uh, we, we have discussed that uh, the use, uh, use if I type, the type in the you know window command, use command if then the folder path. Okay? I am just, uh, I am not going to operate in stata because we have already operated, I am simply saying it okay? so that uh, you, you can um, you know, recall. So, use is important and, uh, and the path name is important. Okay? So, path name usually comes if your data is in D folder, so it, it comes with D. Okay? Path name starts with uh, double invited comma, D colon, uh, it, it, it comes with uh, <coughs> D. Okay? D then other path name, then folder name is there. It automatically, I told you, you just go to that folder and click on the top bar and copy it. It, it, it comes, uh, it, it can copy that path name okay? and then you co copy that path name of that particular folder and ended with uh, uh, dot DTA, it generally comes with dot DTA if, if you have a start, you know, stata data. Then at the end uh, you enter with uh, uh, the uh, end uh, with the invited comma, closing invited comma, then a clear, clear basically uh, you know uh, clears the earlier existing memory. Okay? So, that you can start with a phrase uh, you know, option. Now, uh, <coughs> so, uh, um, so, what we do then uh, you know I, I told you that uh, where to experiment your data, how to know it. Okay? Initially, we told you that uh, if you do not have any database, you do not know where to start, I, I suggested you to go by the directory system data, okay? system use that is SYS USC directory. So, uh, we opted for life expectancy, uh, you can also go for uh, system use auto data. Okay? Or, uh, so, they, there are uh, different data sets we showed you already and uh, those will be very, very useful for quick operations. Okay? Then uh, when you know the directory out of the so many directory and if you know life expectancy which we operated many times, if you, if you simply type that and uh, uh, clear, comma clear that, that will open the data for you. Okay, example data for you. <coughs> now comes to the first command called nodes. Okay, nodes and the variable name. Okay, uh, variable name. So many variables. If you are there, it it gives you uh, the the uh, information about that particular variable. Okay. Uh, <coughs> Uh, so, uh, so so uh, so nodes is also important to start with understanding the data. Now uh, there are some help command and see help command. That is also important to note. Help command we often most often use when our uh, you know computer gets stopped and uh, some commands are not running correctly. So help commands opens in another window. Okay, uh, it is a new in window. And uh, help with a particular uh, you know command name. If you are confused, then you simply type that. Sometimes it is not installed in the uh, in the in the in the version of the stata, not in the ADO file in the stata, it, it gets uh, attaches with the ADO version, ADO file of your uh, stata. Okay. So, uh, but C help, if you go by C help, not not help, C help actually uh, displays the result on on a result uh, on the same window. Okay. So, that actually displays uh, on the result window which we, we are operating. All right. So, that is also important. 
Now, if you do not know the command you want to uh, uh, get uh, you want, want to get help on. So, in that case you have to search search command. Okay. So, uh, starter has a search command for starter 13 and later versions uh, find it uh, uh, for uh, I mean basically search command is for the 13 and later versions and find it for the earlier version find it was the co co uh, no, command we used to give for the previous version then 13. Now, uh, to uh, store variables in their most efficient uh, format, it is always suggested uh, every time that uh, you simply uh, uh, go by a compress command. Okay? So, usually the data set we are dealing with, uh, they, they already come up with uh, you know, compressed, compressed data. So, they come up with compressed, but when we do our own experiment, we, we do the survey and enter the data. So, uh, it is better that we should write down compress and it will automatically compress to its base format. Now, to open a log file, <coughs> how to open a log file? I told you that you go to the, uh, I mean go to the either in, in, the, in the manual format or you simply type okay, log using <coughs> a file name, give a file name and uh, then you know te text replace <coughs> in that case, it, will, it, 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 it actually <coughs> opens the log file. To close the log file, simply you type that uh, log close. Okay, log close will actually uh, <coughs> uh, close the log file which you opened. Okay, so all the commands we are operating will automatically be uh, saved. Okay, so then uh, save the modified data. Suppose generally while we uh, click on the close, it asks for save. So it is better to save and give a file name. Okay, save type save and file name, and then you can exit the uh, the data version for better operation. So far we have discussed the how to explore the data. Now we are going to talk about how to manage the data in data. Okay. So, to manage uh, <coughs> the data uh, in uh, uh, data editor window that is the window we are referring every time. So, either you go by browse or edit okay. br I told you br in, in short okay. or, or, or generally we suggest to go for br. Okay. Uh, br uh, will not distort the data. Uh, but when you are doubly sure you are going to edit the data change somewhere then you can go for edit edit the data okay and uh, then uh, once you do that br if you simply click browse or or, or edit the display entire variable okay whereas if you uh, write down the specific variable for display it will uh, it will only sp specify and show you those variables in the in the browse you know window okay now, to examine the data within the result window, uh, within the result window, <coughs> you need to list it. Okay. So, uh, list then variable then it, it will actually show you within the result window. Then uh, this displays listed variable values within the result window itself, it will not uh, debit or it will not open in another window. But we are uh, browse window actually gives the result in another new window. Now, come to an important part, if uh, you wanted to get a certain variable uh, within, uh, within 100, want starting from uh, starting till 100, then it to specify, uh, specify that the list the variable list, uh, I mean list variable in, in that is 100 out of uh, 1 out of 100. So, this basically gives the range uh, from 1 to 100. Okay? So, now <coughs> Similarly, the minus indicates the last, okay, last five subjects. Okay. So, if, if you want the last in indicators, okay, that, that will give you the last, will produce you listing of variables values for the last five subjects. Okay. So, now, uh, <coughs> now, uh, so, uh, now list variable 1, if, uh, if we want, we, we, we doubly sure that we wanted to get the list of that variable with a category of particular uh, category out of the ownership type, we have already shown you that if you wanted to get uh, the particular category that is 2, two uh, uh, okay. so it will only produce the ownership with the category, uh, the code with 2. Okay. Then, uh, uh, then today also, uh, I mean uh, in our other lectures also we discussed uh, uh, many other commands. Uh, like you know, describe is most often uh, used. Okay, so uh, to get overall information about the data set, then in that case you uh, simply uh, type overall information uh, about the data regarding the you know the the, the entry in byte space uh, or, or, or entry in numeric form or in long form. Okay, 
or in uh, or in uh, string form those information can be uh, derived through describe window. Describe if you give it or D S or only D that gives you the information. Okay, to know only about specific variables, then you enter the variable list. Every time I am saying that variable list, wherever required, you you just enter accordingly. Now, after getting this, summarize uh, is, is is another most important aspect. Then uh, summarize with variable list S U M. Uh, it is very essential for paper to be communicated and uh, the, the important variable you are using for your model you should actually uh, you know summarize it ok SUM and the variable list it will give you summary like you know the average it gives the you know minimum maximum standard uh, deviation of it ok. So, <coughs> uh, so uh, those those uh, details are actually displayed through summarize command. Uh, so, uh, if you wanted to get even further details regarding the sum summary, uh, you have to attach the, the comma with a detail uh, information. Now, let us come to uh, some other information like uh, code book, okay. what are the codes uh, taken uh, for, for that particular variable, which type of codes are given. So, code book if you type it, it, it gives the entire variable and their codes. Okay. Uh, so, code book compact is, is, is actually uh, displays you within a compacted you know table ok with their relevant codes, variable information so many things are actually displayed and for better comparison. So, code book compact I will suggest you to uh, go for instead of just code book, code, code book actually displays a different variable separately ok it might be very difficult to compare them together and uh, uh, to identify unique ID of the data set that is most most important especially while we go for uh, making uh, or combine the data or making a panel data. So, in that case uh, ISID a command is important uh, to, to understand whether that particular variable is uniquely identified across the different uh, groups of information given by the data set which particular uh, variables or the uh, variables information uh, if you can uh, uh, take that will combine the data set. Okay. So, ISID command identifies whether the variable is key or not the uh, principal variable or not that can be identified we have already explained to you. Now, several times I, I uh, kept on mentioning that uh, you know uh, if the variable is in non numeric form. Uh, it is mathematical operations uh, are difficult. So, you need to uh, destring the variable. Okay. So, destring the variable uh, we have to command enter the command like destring then variable list uh, then I uh, know replace it replace the uh, uh, earlier memory. Okay. Then uh, destring uh, then variable number suppose you wanted to write a new variable name after destringing because you know we also require the string variable as well for further operations. So, it is suggested that you distinct the variable and then generate a new variable okay, with, with your uh, new convenient name. Now, encoding the string is also require uh, you know and a string into numeric variable, okay. encoding of string into numeric variable required in that case we need to encode the variable and accordingly uh, we can generate an, a new name to it. Okay. Now, uh, after understanding all those uh, minimum operations, uh, uh, especially uh, in case of merging, we need to sort the variable name. If, if you want to keep it in ascending order for or descending order, uh, generally in ascending order we go, go by sort, okay. uh, sort the variable name it will sort it. Now, to uh, rename the variable, uh, most often we use it, rename a variable simply uses type rename then uh, the old variable name then you, uh, you know uh, type the new variable name you want to rename or you want to give the new name to the old variable name that will actually rename. So, rename can be done either in uh, camel k case or in snake case that I mentioned several times. Okay. So, either uh, you know uh, continuous uh, uh, you know uh, uh, I mean there should be continuous uh, space uh, you, you should not give any space in between. Okay. Or if you wanted to separate two names, you need to start with the new name with a capital letter. Okay, so that you can do it in the rename. But rename should not uh, the new name or the name should not have any space in between. Okay, so now comes to recoding. Recoding is important. Uh, recoding of the variable. Uh, I mean, of the variable uh, with their codes. Like in this case, uh, which we have already explained, re, uh, record the variable name 1 is equal to 1, 2 equal to 2, or specially if 3 to 6 we wanted to club into 3 only. There are 3, 4, 5, 6, any entries are there. We simply wanted to make it into 3 categories 1, 
will remain as 1, keep as 1, 2 as 2 and 3 to 6 we want to make it 3, okay, then that will, that, that will record. Okay. Now, uh, since we have recorded a new, uh, since a new variable, I mean since it is in a new format better to give a new name of that variable. Okay. Now, record of, uh, uh, of the uh, variable name uh, with uh, dot a, uh, okay. so uh, uh, basically what we wanted to say that uh, for, uh, uh, for, for numeric variables, uh, numeric variables uh, we can able to record like this, but uh, <coughs> like you know if dot a uh, dot a is is uh, is there like you know some missing format is there simply what you do you know uh, because that is in uh, you know non numeric format so you, you simply make it to dot only dot that that actually reads in the numeric uh, in the in the mathematical operation if you do that uh, that will convert it uh, or record it now replace uh, replace is the name i mean replace is the command we can replace uh, with a particular uh, entry with a new entry. Okay. So, replace command is used with string variables generally. Okay. So, the string variables here is Proagras, if the city name is Allahabad, you can name it to another one. Okay. Now, recording of variables with their value labels, uh, value labels uh, that we have already mentioned. Okay. So, I, I need not uh, mention separately, I, you can uh, go to that particular respective uh, uh, lecture and you will uh, identify. Now, coming to the important variable and non-important variable, when you know that these variables are very important to me and uh, those numbers are very less, then keep command is very useful. Simply keep those variables, other variables will automatically be dropped. Otherwise, when you know that only very specific variables are to be dropped, you then you go by drop command. Other important variable will be kept in the uh, file, you know, to uh, you know, make your space very compatible for your work. Okay. And similarly, keep with uh, keep variable of a particular category can also be uh, you know mentioned when you know that but, but particular category to be continued and others to be dropped then you simply keep with that particular category okay similarly drop as well now uh, some couple of uh, aspects like tables and tabulations in data how to do tables and tabulations okay so tabulate uh, simply tabulate gives you the frequency distribution okay so uh, the ta 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 tabulate uh, you know that is tab or T A of the variable number uh, will give you the frequency distribution. But the tab, uh, table gives you know information about, uh, I mean let me mention that, the, but there is no, uh, uh, there is one difference in these, these two commands, the table command only gives frequencies for different categories, okay. while tabulate uh, uh, command uh, produces percentages as well, percentage and cumulative percentages. So, uh, that is the difference between tabulate and table, all right. So, uh, the, so uh, they, therefore, we generally go for the tabulate command. Uh, for getting a row total and column total uh, with table command, we have to specify it as option like this. Either you know uh, you have to specify row uh, or, or column at the end so that it will display accordingly that we have already shown you. If you have any difficulties, go to the respective class and watch the video, you will find out. So, uh, to get the frequency of each variable of your interest, then you simply write down tab 1 then variable list it will actually give you correctly. To a table uh, if you wanted to interest uh, if I interested for to a table then you have to specify uh, two tables together okay? then it will give you the correct result. So, adding options if you have any other options like as I just mentioned for uh, row wise frequency percentage and column wise percentages uh, then, uh, then column uh, row or cell if you are only uh, you know interested for uh, <coughs> uh, no frequencies okay then no no uh, i mean frequency will not be displayed only percentage will be displayed then no or nofr options should be uh, mentioned okay correctly down three way table uh, so by basically two way and and two uh, cross tabulation and, and within that uh, the uh, an another variable uh, i mean if you wanted to in include these two way information with, with another information uh, we wanted to co get the information within another uh, uh, third variable that is in that case we have to the th third variable we have to buy sort we start with the variable of interest that is the variable 1 let it be then you sort it through the variable 1 then you can uh, tab uh, variable 2 and variable 3 which you have guided now coming to creation of a new variable if you wanted to create a new variable 
then uh, you know the most important command we we generally go for uh, <coughs> uh, like you know why to create a variable because sometimes we want you know, uh, you know averages of two variables sometimes we, uh, we want logarithmic transformation of a new variable uh, of the old variable and wanted to get a new variable simply you generate generate and take that name if you are doing average then you uh, go, go by this command you logarithmic transformation you, you go by this command natural log and the variable name Okay. Similarly, uh, in a square of a variable and other commands you can do it. All right. So uh, generate, replace, and uh, you know other aspect within hundred, or uh, you know uh, like you know we discuss you for uh, in our case uh, the years of operation. You know we have already mentioned. You go and check. Uh, you know you will find out other details. <coughs> now uh, I just wanted to mention another aspect. If uh, you we generate a variable. Now uh, that is if it is male ent uh, entrepreneur with uh, one if the ownership basically that is male entrepreneurs we know that it is with the code one and in the in the you know uh, uh, in the, in the original variable if uh, we have uh, we know that it is less than two okay so either you enter the command is less than two or you come enter the command uh, that is double equal to 1 that is ownership type double equal to 1 it will give you the uh, information with a new variable that is male entrepreneur with 1 as the entry. Okay. So, uh, <coughs> similarly uh, in case of uh, uh, you know, uh, this command can generate a variable with values 1 for ownership uh, type less than 2 and then similarly for replace command uh, we can uh, enter you know uh, as a 0 if ownership type is greater than 1. Okay. So, if it is greater than 1, we simply want to replace all other uh, 1 as to be 0 because we are interested for male entrepreneurs. Okay? So, others are 0, then it will actually uh, replace all other values to be 0. So, that means whatever is left is nothing but the male entrepreneurs. So, this comma changes uh, those missing uh, to 0. Okay? Uh, 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 all right. So, now uh, combining variables. So, uh, like you know, we can combine variables uh, through, uh, through either if, if like to join country code with we have shown given you the country example country code and uh, their years of uh, years with the I mean country code with the years uh, information. Uh, first we have to convert the numeric variable uh, if any to string and then you use the command. So, generate then a string uh, with the uh, you know number of uh, year number okay, is equal to country code uh, and, and, and year code. Okay. Uh, then command for converting numeric variable to string and accordingly we can uh, mention two string command that you can see it through the uh, data. Similarly, uh, to divide the variable we, we uh, divide the variable uh, between major activities with its, its, its command I think we have already guided you, you go and check its space okay, which space to be counted and that we have mentioned correctly. I am not going into the further details and I am coming back to uh, the explanation of labeling a variable. Okay. Labeling a variable I can I mean uh, labeling a variable and lab, uh, lab, labeling uh, with, with okay. in that case uh, labeling variable group number uh, you know NIC 2 digit. Okay. The, uh, so, if I just label that it, 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 it gives the variable with this information okay, correctly NIC 2 digit you know against to that variable it will show it. Now, similarly value labels and variable label there are two information we clarified very clearly. Now, in case of value level the entries that is one or two value you have given that value will be if only one is there we label it is with rural and two is we label it urban then it will show with the uh, you know show with the uh, uh, label that is rural or urban. So, label values then you have to enter another command label values with sect sector and sector if your sector is, is defined as a label variable then we can enter as that that we have guided during that lecture. So, couple of uh, things to be mentioned uh, at the end to for uh, for uh, ending this particular review lecture. Uh, just we wanted to mention that we already explained the extraction and merging uh, you know uh, lectures. So, for uh, extraction uh, in, in case of pre format uh, file uh, pre format data if it is there in that case we, we use the command uh, if your interest variable are 1 to 5 in that case command we use in file you know uh, command if it is a free format type. Then using the file name where uh, <coughs> uh, which file to be used we have already discussed. Okay. Uh, so, uh, basically in our data uh, in a free format type with a variable separated by blanks or commas or tabs you can use the in file command. All right. 
So, in file command always require uh, a dictionary file, wherever a dictionary file or the dot, dot dct file is available in file command uh, you know uh, is, is, is going to be very useful. Uh, so, <coughs> let me move there are another format called uh, you know uh, delimited uh, data format. So, delimited format is, uh, data is most common uh, uh, common form is with CSV comma separated value files they, they comes with CSV files where the delimited is, is, is a comma uh, comma format you know it all the uh, entries are separated by comma. Uh, the delimiter could be a space also could be a tab uh, or in, in theory just about uh, um, uh, any other character or set of characters. Uh, if your data is in delimited format you can use the insert command ok, insert or even import command ok. So, insert using that file name then uh, clear it will actually uh, you know give you uh, the extraction. Another approach is insert delimited then the, the, the file name it will actually uh, uh, extract it. So, last one to be guided uh, so far as uh, you know extraction is concerned fixed format and the usually this is very common in our data sets it recognized data uh, item by column uh, column position only and the column positions are given in our uh, you know instruction of the data ok and the column ranges are also very clearly mentioned. So, column positions are, uh, are, are fixed for each, each row is very clearly mentioned in which uh, extent it, it, it the position is defined. So, in that case we need to use infix command ok with uh, without uh, data dictionary ok. Uh, in that case if an ASCII format uh, which has uh, the uh, you know clear column positions given <coughs> uh, has a few, few variables in a simple format you just need to list the variables names like this in fix then uh, you know uh, then in that case uh, if there are in you want to in get it in string then uh, the st uh, state and its bytes position is 1 to 2 then uh, district is in string. 3 uh, is position is 3 to 4 and accordingly you can mention then uh, using where is the the file name the, the raw data file might have given with this name which I we have already shown to you and once you do it it, it, it gets converted uh, gets extracted data data read string variable uh, uh, st uh, you know variable state from column 1 to 3 uh, 1 to through 2 and string variables district from one, 3 to 4 that we have already mentioned ok. So, use uh, infix command with data dictionary previously we said uh, if there is no data dictionary that was the approach we said ok. Now, if you have a clear data dictionary and its format is uh, understood to you that we have already explained during the lecture then simply you infix using the data dictionary and then uh, using second using the raw data ok. Uh, raw data that will give you <coughs> data dictionary actually already enters uh, with all these systematic you know uh, entries with, uh, with their byte space ok the variable and their byte space. So, you can also specify the raw data fi file name in dictionary uh, dictionary file as well you can clearly specify the file name as well and then simply uh, run your dictionary file itself simply if you uh, run the dictionary file and uh, you know that is in, in fix your dictionary file contains the raw data file already then in fix using that dictionary that will also extract ok. So, uh, and, uh, a couple of other things you need to also review related to merging. So, uh, that merging uh, most importantly requires uh, the, 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 the key files the key, key, key variables to be you know uh, merged. In that case uh, most importantly the ISID command is very very useful and uh, then you need to sort the ISID variables that are the, co the common variables then you can you know merge using the. Uh, and you have to go by a star master file and a using file ok. Sometimes it is 1 is to 1, 1 is to m, m is to uh, 1 or m is to m ok. Usually uh, or 1 is to m or m is to 1 are actually inverse to each other and uh, you need to be careful which master file you are actually converting ok. So, we generally avoid extracting uh, uh, converging uh, uh, the data set or combining data set m is to m because there are some results expected to be erroneous m is to 1 is to m or m is to uh, 1 is, is, is very very useful. So, whatever technicalities I have used right now you can if you just follow the merging uh, you know uh, lecture you will certainly able to understand very clearly. I think we have reviewed uh, till 25th lecture very clearly and uh, now uh, the window is open to you and you start uh, you know using the you know important uh, other applications ok enjoy it. Music